There's about to be a what? Girl fight. <laughs> the claws are out and you'll never guess which two celebs are beefing. What's up everyone, I'm Kate DeRocher and for more fight night action, subscribe now. So to start, we need some context. Back in 2016, Demi Lovato was blunt as ever and made sure we all knew she'd never go to another Met Gala again. Now, years later, we finally know why she feels so strongly. In an interview with Billboard for their cover story, Demi admits that it was so bad that the event literally made her want to drink and drove her to attend an AA meeting that same night. Now, I have plenty in my life that makes me want to cuddle up with a bottle of wine, but to be pushed that far is pretty serious. Also, side note, but major props to Demi for getting herself to a meeting. That's awesome. Anyway, Demi told Billboard, quote, I related more to the homeless people in that meeting who struggled with the same struggles that I deal with than the people at the Met Gala, fake and sucking the fashion industry's d What's most upsetting, though, is that the singer also admitted that there was one celebrity in particular who made her night a living hell. Now, she didn't explicitly name names, but that's where our sleuthing skills come in handy. The day after the 2016 event, none other than, and you won't believe this, guys, Nicki Minaj posted a picture of her, designer Jeremy Scott, and Demi on her Instagram page, but completely left mention of Demi out of her post. Talk about awkward. This actually makes me pretty sad because I love Demi. I think she's used her rough times as a way to understand and help others. And I'm really into Nikki for being so unapologetically herself. So the fact that they clearly aren't buddy buddy is kind of disappointing. They could make a great girl team and not to mention, could probably have some awesome music together. Demi must have agreed because she left a bunch of laughing faces and thumb up emojis in Nikki's comments and posted a snap saying, quote, when you aren't mentioned in a post, but you didn't do ish to the other person. Fans erupted with all this feistiness between the ladies, and Demi later tweeted trying to calm them down by saying, quote, P.S. Some of y'all need to learn to take a joke. I'm obviously laughing at the fact that one, I look incredibly awkward, and two, that the shade being thrown in this picture actually gives me life. So there you have it. Demi and Nikki are not friends. Did you guys suspect this all along? Remember when all this drama went down? Let's talk about it in the comments below. For more entertainment news, hit the buttons to subscribe.